Hi guys, my name is Harvansh and today uh, we'll talk about that uh, about software update uh, that we call like patch also uh, that we are deploying on Windows servers and Windows machine that is released by Microsoft every month. So let us start this video and might be these PPTs what I'm showing you it will be a bit lengthy but I'm sure you will be getting a complete knowledge about the software update. So let me start this video. So now here what I have write it what is software update this is our main topic and let's see what what is the software update. So a patch is set of the changes of the computer program or it's supporting the data design or the fix. So in the simple way I can say patch is fixing any uh, bugs or to improve the machine performance it could be a server or it could be a your um, workstation like Windows 7 10 or any Windows machine so that is my it released by the Microsoft even Microsoft uh, through SSEM you can deploy the other third-party patches also but here mostly we'll talk about the Microsoft software update so what is software update software update is something which is fixing uh, your bugs or you're fixing some issue or it could be improved your performance or any of the application improvement which is around in your office operating system so basically uh, again the conclusion what is the software update software update is used to fix the bugs or improve your performance in your machine it could be a server or windows machine so let me see the other thing this include fixing security vulnerability and the other bugs so your patch software update which is fixing your uh, security vulnerability security vulnerability in the sense is where any uh, possibility to attack on your machine or to uh, break your security uh, by the software update you can fix your security vulnerability issues or if there is any bugs in terms of your internal windows operating system or your application or uh, any kind of the bugs related to the Microsoft applications or the your operating system you can deploy the other third-party patches also through SSEM so that is called like a bug fixing so here is something patch are of often is written to improve the functionality so when we are talking about the software update and the question comes from everywhere like what the patch will do if I'm deploying and if I'm not deploying this patch what will be the impact so to be understand these three line you can see it patch what it will do it will uh, patch design to fix your uh, your um, fixing the bugs and improve your performance other thing it can be fix your security vulnerabilities and bugs such as a patch usually being called the bug fix if we are saying sometime microsoft is saying this is the bug fix for your windows like in 10 there was a so many bug fix and microsoft was releasing the update and asking you can deploy the software update your bug will be fixed so basically what happened in the background they are doing some coding to fixing that bugs and releasing as a software update if it is a very big bug fix or you want to fix more bugs in a one patch that will not be the patch then again it will convert it to service pack so let's see the third option patch often written to improve the functionality so uh patch when they are microsoft is uh, written the patch or they are they are doing the coding on the what which says they are doing so based on the functionality usability or the performance on a program so to again it improve your bugs or improve your performance fixing the bugs so basically definition what is software update software update is used to fix your bugs improve the performance and the fixing the security vulnerabilities and the patch may be installed either under program control or by the human programming using the editing tool or a debugger so patch can be installed uh, by the uh, your tool which is um, 
can say through the SSEM you can deploy and even you can deploy the patches manual also. I can say you can download the patch in MSU format and double click and you can install the patches. So this is what the patch. Let's move to um, next slide. It is a standard terminology of Microsoft software update. So what is the terminology Microsoft is using in terms of the software update? So there is a patch updates called like a critical update so let's understand what types of patches are available in our SSEM so let's understand the definition then it will be clear and uh, very much understandable which patch we can deploy or which is not useful to deploy in our infra so let's see this critical updates it's a widely released so uh, it's um, every month it's getting released but what it will do these update uh, to fix a bugs or issue but not related to security bugs okay so just be remember when you are on the critical updates when you are uh, saying this is a critical update this patch is a critical and uh, that will fix the bugs or any a specific issue but not related to the windows security because windows security bugs will comes under the vulnerability so critical update are released to address the critical issues so if there is any critical issue that critical update will fix the issue okay so let's see the another uh, update uh, it's a definition update so what is the definition update a widely released or frequent software update that contain conditional of the product definition database so basically i can say when you need some kind of definition and this definition update are released for only for a your um, defender that is merged with the SSEM. It's a antivirus for SSEM, a uh, Windows Defender ATP. I'm talking about the Windows Defender ATP. So that is a release, a widely releasing, or I can say it re can release the definition to daily update the antivirus client to uh, address the malicious phishing website and the junk emails. And there is a other things like malware and to fixing the uh, other antivirus issues and here is a driver updates so another third option is comes like a driver updates so uh, this use to fix the bugs on the device drivers so this types of drivers a driver update usually we are not deploying in our infra why because it will update your drivers so i would recommend you to uh, deploy the driver updates only the manual things only by the manual but usually we do not need to update the drivers by the patch it will be a part of your uh, when you are um, using any application and that need a uh, updates so use it manually uh, but if you are using through uh, software update maybe there will be issue and may not be so it basically used for the device driver updates now let's see the next next is a uh, security uh, sorry uh, feature pack update so what is the feature pack update these updates make the changes on the specific feature in the os when the microsoft is releasing feature update pack it will change the uh, on your specific features i can say your operating system functionality it will change for uh, it depends on the what kind of feature pack you are getting. It's a language feature can be there. It can be a your other feature pack, software related feature pack or internally OS feature can be there. And after this implement this feature pack, what will happen? You need to provide a feedback to Microsoft that feature is a useful or not. Uh, I will give you the one example. When the Microsoft want to release any features, want to add a new features in your windows, in a coming windows. So before releasing that uh, new version, Microsoft releasing a feature pack that will deploy to machine, that feature will enable, you have to use it after that. You need to give a feedback to Microsoft. 
if Microsoft is getting some good amount of feedback for a particular uh, feature pack, then they will plan to add that feature into coming Windows feature. So that is basically to uh, give, provide the feedback to Microsoft. But I will recommend it to you. Just do it for the testing, not for the production. It can be the harmful or it cannot be it up to you that you want to test the some new features and all and uh, then you want to report it to microsoft now let's move it to security update what is the security update so these uh, these update security related issue in the operating system so security updates are addresses to security related issues uh, in an operating system, I can say the mic uh, when uh, your uh, operating system in running of the lack of security or if there is any vulnerability or is there any possibility uh, for to break any um, uh, security level. So for that Microsoft is releasing for a security update. So you can see in the definition Microsoft will release these update if there is any fault found in the operating system if there is any problem in your operating system in terms of the security then microsoft will analyze it and they will release the fix that called the security update the severity rating is indicated to in the microsoft security bulletin critical important and moderate or low so based on the uh, security like what kind of the level it's having it's uh, defined in the severity severity rating if it is a like a critical it's a security updates comes under as a critical then it's compulsory to deploy this patches in your infra if it is a like a important yes then also you have to do but it is like a moderate or low then it up to you you want to deploy or not but the recommendation from the microsoft you need to deploy the all security updates so you will not be losing your security in your infra let's move to the next so here is um service pack update so now what is the service pack service update may contain the fix or a problem that found initially since the release of the product so sometime what happened microsoft release any windows version and but during the release they have not find out any bugs in that uh, release or uh, when they test it might be it was not address at that time but later on they feel okay there is a some issue is there internal the os operating system so to be fixed that kind of issue they are releasing the service pack update service pack update it will update uh, your uh, or the fix the so many uh, vulnerabilities or the multiple uh, not vulnerabilities it could be a fix for your multiple things like i can say i write it here service pack is a cumulative set of the hot fix security update critical update and the update so your service pack will be containing all types of hot fix let a security update critical update and the updates so if you are updating your the service pack guys be careful because it will be containing the multiple things okay so let's move it to the next thing is the tool update so we have uh, tools update also what it will do it uh, a utility or the feature that help to complete a task or the set of tasks so this will uh, tools update will be targeting to some kind of a um, uh, like a inbuilt feature in the Microsoft to fixing the tool update bugs fix then now we have the updates like normally uh, that it named by the updates so usually updates is uh, every month it getting release that is indicated uh, to deploy uh, these updates to your machine and that what we are doing in a monthly basis so what is that update a widely release fix or a specific problem so these update uh, every month widely release i am saying it's why because it's every month it's releasing sometime it's releasing uh, in a mid of the month also like uh, after the monthly patch released also if the microsoft feel okay this update has to release then also they are releasing but sure the second tuesday they are releasing all types of updates so this will be 
address update will be addresses a known critical or known security related parts so to be specific in update security updates what they are doing actually and the critical updates so these three types are the major updates which we are deploying on the monthly so in this update what it will address it will address known critical known security related bugs <coughs> sorry let's move to next thing update rollups so what update rollups will do so first thing it tested this update rollup should be uh, very much tested even though microsoft is doing too much testing before releasing it so cumulative set of the hotfix security update critical update and the update are packed together for the easy deployment when we are talking update rollups so what is the update rollups update rollups is a cumulative set of hotfix security update also will be there critical update also will be there and your the normal update also will be there when you pack these all those things all together and for a easy deployment suppose you don't want to deploy separately hotfix security update critical update so go for the update rollups in the update rollups all everything should be inside a rollup generally target to a specific area such as a security so when you are planning to deploy the update rollups so it should be a targeted to a specific area not the entire company but guys be careful because it's having a multiple things containing like hotfix security update critical update and the updates so might be it will impacting your infra so until it is a very important to deploy don't deploy this okay so i given an example here um to um, update rollup generally targeted to a specific area such as a security or a component of the product might be it required for a just particular a department where this will be useful such as a internet explore uh, internet information services where the is is running it just in the example not the complete definition okay so hope you understand this definition also let's move it to the next one so here is a security only update in that uh, SSEM you can see in this kind of update also security only updates a update that collect the old new security update for given a month for a given a product addressing security related vulnerabilities so we see the security update but now we seen a security only update so security update it's fixing a a particular security vulnerability level issue but here is what we are uh, finding a new security update a given for a month and an update that collect all the new security update so if you are deploying security only update it will contain all types of security related patches security update inside the bundle you will be having all types of security update if you are deploying this then no need to calculate all types of security update you just deploy it and it will fix all the security related vulnerabilities let's move it to the next <clears throat> so now here is a uh, one more update type that is a monthly rollups so uh, here is cumulative set of updates it is a uh, up, uh, this is a set of a cumulative and they include both security and uh, the reliability update that pack together so in this monthly rollup what we will find out it will include both security and reliability update so security and update it will include both type of update and that is pack all together and it is called a, like a monthly update so that can be the distributor over the windows update wss ssem and the microsoft catalog for the easy deployment if you want to install it through SSEM, you can do it. If you are using WSS, it will be available in WSS. If you want to use download from the Microsoft Update Catalog, so from there also you can download it. 
so guys why i am i write is these many definitions so you should be clear with the all types of update because i seen it uh, so many people are commenting me uh, we are confused which patch we have to deploy which not to be deployed so here you can get the clear definition and you, based on your company infrastructure you can plan for the, your software update so let me move it to the next this is a preview of the monthly rollup so cumulative set of new patches cumulative set of new update uh, that are packed together and distributed over the software update okay so that is a, a set of the cumulative suppose you want to um, deploy only for the cumulative update so this will be set of the cumulative update update and uh, as i told you that are the packed all together and it will be distributed through the software update sscm and all so this is what what is the difference in that so microsoft update catalog i had released the next month monthly rollup so preview of the monthly rollups when this testing will done preview of monthly rollups once you deploy and there is a no issue then the next month same preview of the monthly rollups will come with the monthly rollups so again that is a uh, uh, your feedback kind of thing microsoft is releasing and uh, as a preview of the monthly rollups and they are testing whether this monthly rollup will impact in infra or not so guys i'm suggesting don't put in the production if you want to do it testing just you can test in your test environment and you can report to, to microsoft based on your feedback multiple feedbacks microsoft they will get it based on uh, our feedback microsoft will plan to release it as a monthly rollups so basically i can say if the one uh, my patch is in category of the preview of monthly rollup and if there is no issue then in the next month it will be releasing as a monthly rollup so let's move it to the next slide next feature so what this is a servicing stack update so what is the servicing stack update uh, that is called like a ssu patch so this question ask me so many people ask me this question so that's why i have written a uh, like a something big story to understand well so you can pause the video and can understand it well ssu so let me read this the servicing stack is a code that install uh, the other operating system update Additionally, in containing the component-based service stack, so basically, its SSU is a uh, containing the component-based services pack that is called like CBSS, which key underlying component of several element of the Windows deployment, such as a DISF, uh, SFC, changing the Windows feature or role are repairing the components and the cbs is a small component that the typically does not have the updates so uh, coming to the conclusion what is that so this is like a uh, containing the component based services stack if you are deploying uh, this patch then it will impact to your component based component based uh, servicing stack i uh, can say i have written the um, example um, uh, like a element of the windows deployment elements or like a uh, um, sorry windows update deployment elements such as a dism sfc and it will change your the windows feature or role if you are deploying the ssu so ssu before deploying the ssu you should be more careful read the microsoft article why it needed usually ssu is not required for the windows so uh, this is not a like a monthly activity every month the ssu come and blindly you deploy so don't go with this because it will impact your direct uh, your os internal things like a dism fsc and it will change your windows features as well so i can say it will be impacting to your entire operating system uh, if you deploy the ssu so last time when i seen it the ssu was required to deploy on uh, when we was uh, this windows 7 license was expired 
and we need to install the windows 7 patches release there the ssu activation i did it so before that never i did it the ssu and the my company has not asked me to go with the ssu deployment now let's see the cumulative updates so these also uh, the very famous which we are deploying in a every month so each cumulative update indicate the change and fix from the previous update so this is what the cumulative update actually is a bunch of bundle that will contain the previous updates so whatever the previous updates we uh, release that will be comes under the cumulative update the cumulative update size always should be your uh, shoes and every month it increasing because it's containing the all the previous updates I given some more information about the cumulative update so servicing stack update must shift separately from the cumulative updates okay so let me clear you if you are deploying for the SSU and the cumulative update so guys plan it separately cumulative update separate deployment and the, and your SSU separate deployment why because they modify the component and install the windows updates so one part is modifying the windows update your ssu will modify the windows update uh, windows component and it will install the updates so servicing stack is released separately because the servicing staff is required an update so when uh, that's why the microsoft is releasing separately both so your uh, cumulative update and ssu never microsoft release all together it there will be be a gap for releasing why because you should not deploy for the both altogether and here is a red mark i have given microsoft recommend you to install the latest service updates for your operating system before installing the cumulative update so if you are installing uh, the cumulative updates if you want to install your uh, like a um, ssu and the cumulative update so first you install your ssu service stack update and then go with the cumulative update if not if you install the cumulative update first and then you go with the ssu then it will be causing an issue so like here is again like installing the service pack stack update do not require a restart so if you are installing the ssu it will not re require a ins uh, reboot so installation should be in the distributive so uh, it just i mark it like a your uh, soft you know, this ssu will not required a reboot but your cumulative update may it require a reboot let go to the next point so servicing stack update are specific for the operating system uh, built version num no built number so your always ssu will be a specific for a operating system version like the once cumulative update will be for um, like your uh, windows 10 1606 1608 or 170 or 180 1906 1908 such like that so it will come with your built version so one separate separate your ssu will be released for the built version and now this once a service stack update is installed it cannot be removed or installed from the machine so guys i have given a so much details about the cumulative update and the uh, servicing stack and i put it all together why because i want to make you understand clearly why what is the difference in both cumulative update and the servicing stack so once a service a service stack update is installed it cannot be removed just be remember it cannot be removed or uninstalled from your machine if it is installed then it installed there is a no possibility to remove it so when you are deploying verify it twice thrice whether it required or not if you install that then you never ever change it now 
out of band hotfix so now we'll come to out of band hotfix that is named in uh, like a zero day deployment also uh we can say like uh, sometime we got a requirement from our management this patch could should goes as a zero day deployment so here uh, what i write it something uh, from my experience like there are the hotfix released to address the specific issue these hotfix cannot be installed by using the console and will not be discovered in the microsoft cloud service so as it it is a zero day deployment microsoft is not uh, publishing this on your microsoft cloud service i can say on your uh, windows software update like uh, wsus so this patch will not be discovered in your wsus if it is not in wsus you cannot be uh, you know um, is uh, c in your sscm so when you need to deploy it manually you have to import in your wsus from the microsoft catalog so there is a two other way i find out to deploy uh, such a such type of patches like i prefer to install these patches manually by using hotfix installed there is a two methods you can google it uh, something about this what is the way to install like a hotfix update uh, out of band hotfix so this is like a uh, there is a two way hotfix update installed and the update registration tool so you can use this option even you can manually import in your sscm also so now here is end of the ppt and thank you guys hope you understand about the software update that what the microsoft releasing the updates so in this video uh, hope so it is clear which patch you can deploy or uh, how you can plan your patching it up to you which kind of patch is required in your organization which is not required it again about different company to company so guys be careful when you are doing the patching select the right patch right deployment issues will be less and your life will be a relax thank you guys for watching this video see you soon in my the next video